Well, winter weather is certainly walloping the uh, south. We've got some video that shows the sleet bouncing off cars. It's been covering roads, also impacting planes being de-iced at DFW Airport in the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area tonight. Yeah, we talked about this last week, Angela. You can't really scoff at these storms just because no. it's in the south and maybe less precipitation because that ice is something else. It is something else, and they're dealing with that, with that ice from Texas all the way to Tennessee, and we've got some icing concerns locally. Um, our news desk noticed that the Bartholomew County Sheriff's Facebook page, they had put on that uh, I-65 northbound 60-mile marker was down to one lane because of an accident accident involving the semi and several other cars. So um, Mike went and found our in-dot camera in that area and you can see it's completely iced over. So if you are south of I-70, any light precipitation, even if it's falling in the form of liquid, is going to freeze on contact. Not a lot showing up on live Doppler 13 radar, but we do want you to be weather aware. We are getting some reports of some icy conditions, especially across the southern part of our viewing area from the Bartholomew County area over toward Bloomington in Nashville, so please keep that in mind. The main weather system causing the problems is along and south of the Ohio River with heavy snow along the river to just south of there, some icing conditions across northern sections of Kentucky into western Tennessee. They're under uh, winter weather advisories, ice storm warnings, and through a good part of the state of Texas, that's a winter storm warning because of ice, sleet, and snow in the forecast, and lots of icing expected over the next couple of days. A good thing to keep in mind if you do have travel plans from Tennessee to Texas. Locally, we're pretty quiet, at least across the central part of the state and points north. Cloudy skies in Indianapolis 20, a north wind at 11, brings the wind chill down to 8. We're sub-zero wind chills in Lafayette, feeling like minus 1, feels like 9 in Muncie and in Bloomington. Tuesday forecast is a cold one. You'll need that heavy coat start to finish. We don't make it out of the 20s. A few slick spots, especially south early tomorrow, then we get into a little bit of sunshine tomorrow tomorrow afternoon. We're back close to 34 high with a little more sunshine on tap for Wednesday. The main storm track stays to our south, but again, this weather system close enough that we're going to have to watch closely the southern part of our viewing area for some slick roads that's already happening tonight and may impact the Tuesday morning drive. As we get into later in the week, we do warm back up. We've got a few days in the 40s in your seven day, but it's going to be cold tonight and cold tomorrow morning. High of only 24 tomorrow afternoon. We're at 34 for a high Wednesday, 43 Thursday, cold on Friday, back to 29, but then back to the 40s for the upcoming weekend with a rain chance on Sunday.